Hello everyone, I'm Ranger John and I have with me today Ranger Sierra and Ranger Paul and we're going to talk with you about the principles of Leave No Trace and how you can use those when you come visit the parks. There are seven principles of Leave No Trace and I don't know about you but I had a really hard time remembering them until someone showed me how we can use our hands and our fingers to come up with those seven principles. The first principle is plan ahead and prepare or we like to say know before you go. We're going to use that first finger. We're going to think a little bit about what we're going to do when we come out on our trip to the park. And if you don't know the answer to that, you're going to get out your cell phone, maybe tap a few things down on your cell phone, or maybe on your computer and do all you can about the park. It's really important to remember to know that before you go because we're really disappointed to go all the way to a park, sometimes driving two or three hours away, only to find out you can't get in or do the activities you want to do. So to use that time, plan ahead and prepare and get ready for your trip. Principle number two is to walk and camp on durable surfaces. Camping off of the camping pad or hiking off of the trail disturbs the natural vegetation and the organisms that live beneath the earth's surface. It is important to stay on the trails and on the camping pad to avoid causing erosion. The third principle of Leave No Choice is to dispose of waste properly. For many of us, we were Boy Scouts or Girl Scouts when we were young, and we had the Scout sign, which was the three fingers up, and it was kind of a promise, a promise that we were gonna make sure we took care of things the right way when we were doing our things out in the outdoor world. So for us, we wanna make sure we recycle whenever we can, we pick up after ourselves, and also to make sure that we pick up after our dogs, because we don't wanna leave that stuff on the ground because it's really not good for the environment. I don't know about you, but it really smells when we step on it when we're walking through the woods. So please remember to dispose of waste properly. Fourth principle of leave no trace is leave what you find. The best thing you can do is take a picture. All right, we're up to principle number five. And number five is be careful with fires. And we like to use our fingers as the size of the fire you might want to have when you're out there in the campsite. We want to make sure when you have a fire, it doesn't get too big because we don't want to create any forest fires. It's because remember the words of Smokey Bear, only you can prevent forest fires. So when you're out there in the parks, if you're using the grill or the fire, please make sure you put your fires out before you leave for the day. The sixth principle is respect wildlife. You can respect wildlife by not feeding them or hanging your food high in a tree so a bear can't get it. Also, don't get too close to animals. The way you don't get too close to animals is what we call the thumb method. The thumb method is when you hold your thumb straight out in front of you, you want to be able to not see any part of the animal or person around your thumb. I want to try. The last and most important principle is principle number seven, which is be considerate of other visitors. So for this one, we have a wave and a peace sign. While you're at our state parks, it is important to respect other visitors, give them plenty of space, and keep your noise volume to a minimum. That is all for today. I hope you enjoyed your time with myself, Ranger John and Ranger Paul, and we hope to see you at our Maryland State Parks. See you everybody. Have a great time in the park. See you at the park. Bye.